Investigation has to do with the converse of the base angles theorem. So the converse, of course, means that we're supposed to switch the if and the then statement. So originally it's if the two sides are congruent, then the two base angles are congruent. So here, instead, this is going to be if angle B is congruent to angle C, then AB is congruent to AC. Does it work? Well, we know we've talked about numerous times. Converse of a given statement is not necessarily two, so it does take a bit of investigation and proof in order to confirm whether or not it actually works. So let me take you through the steps. Again, you're going to need a compass and a straight edge in order to work your way through this little investigation. So you want to start with drawing a line segment AB. This time, um, we're going to make our two congruent angles, and this is going to be our base segment for our isosceles triangle. Okay, so you get to pick an angle for angle A. However, it can't be 90 degrees or bigger. can't be bigger than 90 degrees or even 90 degrees because then your triangle will never close off, right? So pick something sensible here. It does have to be some sort of acute angle. Okay, so I'm going to actually draw in my angle A. Now it says, uh, draw it with your protractor, but I, I'm pretty sure you can just use a straight edge in order to draw yourself an acute angle there. Yeah, I think I, I got confidence in you that you can eyeball an acute angle here. Okay, step three, you're going to duplicate angle A at angle B using just your compass. You can see those little compass marks there. We've done this construction about three or four billion times. That's an approximation there. And, uh, so that it goes in the opposite direction to complete off your triangle, okay? And then what we're finally going to do is that we're gonna compare side AC to side BC. You can see that in this picture on step number four, it just stretches the compass from one side to the other side, and you're gonna compare that compass setting to B to C. Okay, so in this next video, I'll take you through the steps, step-by-step step using my own compass and straight edge so that we can investigate this together.